Hello, I'm the Blue Kitty Canvas, and I'm a new YouTuber that does art, and today I'm going to be drawing an underwater sea themed. I'm starting, to, I decided to start off with this little sea creature. I don't know exactly what it is, but I kind of made it up, but it's a little, like, it's something. It's like a snake with hair underwater. Yeah. <laughs> and uh as you see i decided to make it a bit realistic um i added some seaweed as well and some corals because the coral kind of looks weird but i don't really know how to draw corals that was my first time so yeah i decided to draw a little nemo because why not it looks really nice there uh i tried drawing a shark but uh it looks more like a little dolphin instead. <laughs> the tail's kind of funky. I drew some more seaweed in the back there next to the fish. I drew a min little mini fish so then the Nemo fish could eat it, I guess. <laughs> then up there I drew a dolphin that which looks interesting. And then uh, I decided to draw a little mermaid poking out of the water. Even though you can't see the head because I didn't want to draw it. I had, added, I had added bubbles everywhere so then it could look better. And I added some more rocks and seashells on the ground of the seafloor so then it looked even better. Uh, I added, decided to add a rock with a treasure chest on it because originally uh, the rock was supposed to be a part of the treasure chest, but then I messed up, so I just decided to make it a, f a treasure chest on the rock with jewelry coming down. Here I decided to start coloring the seaweed. Uh, I, I tried to go for a blending type, so I decided to blend a little. Well, I blended on the whole thing, but that's besides the point. So basically, I decided to blend on the seaweed, so I... uh. I was just coloring it with a normal green at first, the normal little green seaweed color. Then I decided to gra grab a darker green that was more of a plant green and decided to start coloring it more on the tops. I didn't go to the bottom because I didn't think it would look good. Then I came up with a little bit of a brighter green and colored all over it so then it would look, pop out even more. Then I took a bit of a lighter green to blend the darkness areas and made some of the lighter ones as well. And then I decided to take another green, a really light one, to blend it all together. Because if you blend with a really light color that is the same as it, then it will look way better. Here I decided to start on my little snake creature hairy thing. We'll call it Bob. <laughs> and uh, basically we decided to color Bob blue at first. And then uh, I had to sharpen a pencil. <laughs> and then I just did like a little bit shading on the bottom. But then as soon as I shaded it, I realized that it was such a perfect shade. And I just kept it like that. So then I moved on to the little hairs. And uh, I decided to color those uh, sea blue, which I will regret later. But I colored it a sea blue. And then uh, did some shadings on that a little. It couldn't do really that much because it's little hairs sticking out. You can't really do that much with it. Then I decided to work on the coral. And uh, I made it a pink coral because pink is a really natural color for corals. And uh, it kind of looks like a rock with seaweed stuck to it if you look at it. But uh, that's my coral so far. And uh, when I was coloring it, I made it two different shades of pink. I made the top one lighter and the bottom one darker. So then it would look like it's not the same. I did some shading on the light pink and like shaded it with hot pink and then when shading the other one that it ended up turning magenta <laughs> and uh, I think that looked good 
but then I decided to shade it a little bit more and it started popping out a lot which I think still looks good I decided to take a like a purple to shade the other one because none of the other pinks would have gone over the magenta because the pinks are too light then I worked on my little interesting dolphin and uh, it's a very interesting dolphin I tried doing some blending on it uh, it didn't don't think I think the dolphin was the least of my concern on this drawing because it wasn't exactly the greatest thing on this drawing then I decided to work on the shark though to ignore the dolphin for now and uh, I just colored it and stuff I decided to color it gray instead of blue and then uh, I added some highlights and I added some dark gray so then it would look like a little tummy on it and then uh, I, t I decided to blend it and I think it turned out pretty nicely I decided to now work on the little Nemo fish I colored it like a yellow orange at first I think it looks good and then uh, I switched to uh, like a yellow I guess it looks like yellow at least and uh, it made it more orange I guess then I took an even darker yellow and did that and then I took a dark gr a, <laughs> a dark white gray and decided to use it on that then I decided to go with the seaweed but then now that I'm watching this I realize that the seaweeds are different colors but uh, I still think that it turned out pretty good because it was that one's more of a sea green and then when I blended it, it decided to go more green, so I think it was fine. Had to sharpen another pencil. Just waiting for that. Anyway, uh, I decided to blend it again. And uh, well, as I was blending it, I blended it with a higher color again, so then it would look good. And then I blended it with another higher color that was even brighter. Kind of just going over it with multiple light colors so it'll look good. Then I started working on the treasure chest. I decided to make the side darker so then it would look a bit 3D. Like a, kind of like a 3D effect if you think about it. Then I did some blending on the chest. Then I colored some of the jewelry and stuff. Uh, the pink necklace it was supposed to be a necklace but it might not look like a necklace to some people <laughs> and uh i colored the rock i tried to also make the rock look 3d like the chest so then it would look better and then i worked on some of the clams <laughs> or the seashells if you call them that the clams or seashells whatever you call them and then I did like only two blend of colors on each shell because they didn't really need to pop out that much since they were really small. So yeah, they did. I decided to do a variety of colors, not just like a specific amount. And then uh, I did colored the Dobrox all the same color because, well, I think it's obvious they're the same color. And now I started to work on the mermaid. I decided I wanted a green to blue ombre. Like, kind of like a turquoise. But, uh, it turned, the blending really turned out good. So, I'm proud of that. I think that was my favorite thing on the mermaid, at least. Because that blending was just really good. And I liked it a lot. And I colored the mermaid skin. And tried blending it a little. Not that much, though. Then I colored, I probably forgot, had forgotten about the little fishy, so I colored it real quick. Pink with purple spots, I'm pretty sure. Guys, a like and subscribe on the video because I worked really hard on this drawing. And I hope you guys see how hard I worked on it as well. And you, if you want to see more, you can hit that notification bell. Alright. 
But back to the video, I decided to start uh, coloring the sand more. And uh, I colored it really light at first because I wanted it to be a little bit light. And then I went on in with some shades. But first I had to sharpen it, of course. Then uh, I started doing it. I actually decided not to shade the whole thing, most of it at least. And I did like a little zigzag up so then it can be like more of a shading if you think about it. And then uh, I decided to do more shadings on the sand and it got darker over time as I shaded it even more. I kind of turned out for a golden sand, which I wanted because I think golden sands are really nice. And I did the zigzag up again. The corners were kind of hard to do because they're kind of weirder and I didn't really want to go off the paper so I had to do that. And uh, I had to take an orange to blend it even darker because it was getting a bit too golden. But it's alright. And uh, as you can see there's even golden areas. And then I decided to start on the uh, the background of the ocean water. And remember earlier how I said I would regret coloring the, the hairs on the little bob? blue well guess what this is why because the background matches it well there was no stopping that i guess so now it's just hairless bob bob with no hair well matching hair with the sea but that's okay because you can still kind of see it i guess um anyways i didn't really do any shadings on the background i did have to resharpen the pencil many times because it's a pencil, a colored one, so it'll run out more easier. Especially when you're trying to do a whole entire background with it. It was still pretty fun though. I had to like dodge all the stuff so then it, I wouldn't make Nemo or the seaweed blue. Or And I also had to dodge the bubbles so then uh, I wouldn't accidentally color them blue because I, don't w I want them to be white and not blue. And uh... So I'm just coloring all around them right now, and yeah, I'll just coloring around my unknown dolphin, around the coral and the bubbles, starting back up there. I always hate the slides when coloring because I always go off the paper and it makes it way harder to color the rest. And I have to sharpen it again. I think, personally, I like to do it on the side because then it colors way more faster and gets more space. But I didn't do any shadings on the background though. Here I went in with some Poscas to really do it. And I ended up coloring the bubbles a light blue. And uh, it, they kind of popped out. And then I decided to take a white Posca and go over it with some little light uh, white shadings. So then the bubbles looked more bubbly, I guess you could say. And then I decided to just, I wanted to use the Poscas and more things than just the bubbles. So I decided to do it on some of the creatures. And so I used it on the shark first. Then to, and then I decided to make the faces pop out. And I used it as a form of height, like, tracing, so then it can, like, go over it. And you can see all the lines better, because it's kind of hard to see those lines right now, ever since the background got colored. So you can, you can see how much the background has popped out. And then the seaweed is right there. And then I'm just basically, at this point, making everything pop and I'm making it look way better and then as you can see I'm also doing it to the chest too and uh, I'm doing it to the sand border I also did it to my to Bob Bob the little snake that's hairy and then I did it to 
the rocks and the clams or seashells in the uh, sand. And then I decided to circle the bubbles so then you could see them. At this point, I had forgotten all about the dolphin. And then uh, I went, I did not even recognize the dolphin because that's how much I was ignoring it because it blended in with the background. Then I kind of went over the other ones, which I guess had no purpose of really doing all that blending if I just went over it with a deep marker. But it's okay because it still looks good. Then on the sand, I did some really light, lighter highlights with the Poscas. Then on the seaweed, I also did some green highlights. This is when I finally saw the dolphin and decided to trace it. Then I just made it a really lighter blue, which I guess made it look better and more like a dolphin. Probably shouldn't have added that fin, but it's okay. And then I did some highlights on the coral, and I did some more highlights on the little seaweeds. And then I started to do some highlights on the dolphin. I went back in with some pencil for the shark because I wanted to make that shark look perfect. Then I went some purple on the edges for the coral. I think it made it really stand out. I had to retrace with the black though. I think when I outlined the treasure with the black too, it made it look just like all completely blacked out which doesn't really affect it, but eh, it makes it have less color, I guess. And then uh, I finally decided to almost finish up and I was doing all this stuff. Then I finally finished and this is the end product. Hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it.